The Holy Tales. Hello, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. Again? Will you ever let me sleep in peace? Oh, Holy, please don't sleep. We really want to hear a story from the Bible again. This story is about the fall of Adam and Eve. And you must listen carefully as I will ask you a question at the end of the story. Of all the animals God made, He made the snake the most cunning. One day, the snake asked Eve, Dear Eve, is it true that you cannot eat the fruit from the tree of knowledge? Eve replied, Yes, we can eat the fruit of any other tree, but this one. If we do, God says we will die. The snake said, That's silly. God has tricked you. If you eat the fruit, you will gain knowledge. But why would he lie to us? Because he doesn't want you to be wise like him. Eat it, is what I would say. Eve took some fruit from the tree and ate it. She took some for Adam too. As soon as they ate it, they realized they were not wearing any clothes. So they took some leaves and covered themselves. When God came, Adam and Eve hid behind some trees because they were ashamed of what they had done. What did you do? I told you not to eat the fruit of that tree. It's not my fault. Eve gave it to me. It is not my fault either. The snake tricked me. God was angry that they disobeyed him. So he sent them away from the garden. From that day onwards, Adam would have to hunt for food and things would not be easy anymore. And now, the question for all of you. Of all the animals, which was the most cunning? I know this! The snake was the most cunning of all. Well done! That is right. Okay, children, it's time for my nap again. Bye-bye.